What's going on YouTube? It's Alvin the Director and I'm back again with another video. For those who are new to the channel, I'm in week four of Officer Candidate School in Fort Benning, Georgia. So this week we just got back from Land Nav. We spent about five days out in the field practicing um, for our Land Nav test, which was yesterday morning. We ended up coming back a day early due to inclement weather, which explains why the lights are out right now in our barracks. So let's get into it. What exactly is Land Nav? Land nav is basically navigating from point A to point B um, and learning how to read a map. I mean, it's it's really easy um, if you take the time out during the classroom time to actually learn it. I could go into detail about land nav, but that's going to be in a later video. All right. So what you need to learn about land nav in OCS and why it's so important. So the first thing you need to make sure you understand, of course, is how to read a map and how to navigate and traverse terrain. All right, after that, you need to make sure that you understand how important it is on your OML. So you need to take all the practical exercises, everything that you learn in the classroom, you need to actually take the time out and study it. Um, it's one of the most important things in OCS that you'll do as far as tests. And again, it weighs heavily. Um, as far as uh, the actual application of LandNav, I can't say how much you'll do depending on you know what you branch. It's a very important skill as far as passing OCS and getting the, the branch that you want. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of time uh, with your platoon mentor practicing, you know, land nav. You're gonna spend the first half of the week, you know, with your platoon, with your squad, and with battle buddy pairs, um, going out and actually practicing um, land nav and getting ready for the test. Um, the test is not necessarily hard, but um, it does have, you know, one of the, the highest uh, fail rates at, at OCS as far as tests go, but that's just because land nav is a, a very important skill. Regardless of what you branch or regardless of what you think you might branch, um, land nav, I mean, knowing where you are on a map is, is, is crucial. You never know what's going to happen whenever you're overseas, so understanding how to navigate and how to get from point A to point B is it, crucial, and that's why it weighs so heavily on your OML, which again affects you know what you end up branching. So on your actual test day, um, we end up getting up at 345. I'm not sure if that is going to be the standard for every single company, but we ended up starting Land Nav at about 515. So um, of course it's summertime right now. It's June. So it is gonna be a hot, gonna be a hot, gonna be a hot day. Even in the morning, we were already in a heat cat five. So make sure that you're hydrating. Even in the wintertime, you're gonna make sure you're hydrating because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So make sure that you have a lot of socks, some great socks and some great boots because your feet are gonna get, you know, messed up. Um, throughout uh, the week, um, during the practice um, side of the week, we were doing about 12 to 14 miles um, per day. We went out in the mornings and we went out in the afternoons. And on test day, you end up walking about six to eight miles, give or take, depending on what points that you're given to, to plot on your map um, determines, you know, of course, how much you're gonna be walking, but plan to walk about six to eight miles. So when you get up in the morning, it's gonna be dark, like really dark. We were unlucky, so we didn't have a moon out. So um, when we were navigating through the first, I guess, 30 to 45 minutes, I mean, it was, it was pitch black. So doing land nav in the daytime is one thing, but when you actually have to walk and walk through trails and find your points during the well while it's dark outside it, it makes a, a big big difference so even though land nav is one of the the hardest things at ocs if you actually take the time out to practice if you spend the time studying and um paying attention when you go out with your platoon mentor um during the the practice portion of land nav it, it's not going to be hard we did have a few people that, that didn't make it through unfortunately um, however, um, we have a class of 160, so uh, if only four or five people don't pass, um, you have to look at the the actual pass rate. That's over a 95% a you know pass rate for um, for land now. So um, when you go out on test day, just make sure you do your best. Don't panic, of course. I know it's kind of hard to say don't panic when you know it's a test that weighs heavily on your OML, but again, you have a high pass rate, so. If you pay attention and you follow everything that they, you know, tell you to do when it comes to getting from point to point, you'll be okay. It's not something that is just that difficult. If you have any questions specifically about Land Nav, I'd be happy to answer them. So you can go ahead and ask those questions in the comments below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Alvin the Director. You can follow me on Snap at Who Is Chipmunk and on Twitter at Who Is Chipmunk. I'm Alvin the Director, and I'm out.